Hi everybody, how are you all? It's Thursday afternoon at the moment, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful day here in Invercargill, New Zealand. Thank goodness, hopefully our spring is here now. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've received quite a few things that I had ordered from AliExpress. It was way, ordered way back in July, possibly end of June, July, and it's slowly coming in in trickles now. When I order from there, I do know that I'm going to have to wait so it doesn't bother me. But I thought I would share with you some of what I have. It comprises mostly of laces and cutting plates. I can't say the proper word now, not allowed to on YouTube. So I'm saying cutting plates. That would be a new word. The first one are the laces. This is the first one. Beautiful lace with the trim. Shake it down and it goes quite nicely. And I do plenty of work with that on the shabby chic. Um, excuse the rattle. Uh, this is another one. I thought that was quite cute. Just for going around the edge of things. Probably won't use it that much, but it's I like it. It will do somewhere. Here's one I love. Right. That one. Isn't it beautiful? Those you can cut up, you see, and use individually. Oh, that's what I like to be able to do that. And this one is just gorgeous. You'll love this. Again, it can be cut up and used individually. All this is from AliExpress. They really are, if you don't mind waiting, they're the place to go to. As I say, there is a lot of waiting, but I'm used to that now. Um, just some more. As I say, I've been getting this in now for the oh, last two, three weeks. This is the same as the other one. <laughs> and I didn't realise it, so I've ordered it twice. But I ordered more of it this time. <laughs> So that's that. So I've got more of that than I realised. But you can never have too much. Um, not that. Oh, that one. This came today. This was in the mail today. All these were ordered more or less the same time. But it, as I say, it dribbles in from AliExpress. It's that one. I like that because that, to me, looks like a fern leaf. And the one of the emblems of New Zealand is the silver fern. So I can paint those silver if I want to put them on something. Those. This one I ordered quite a bit of. Must have been two or three metres. Must have been cheap. But all these are cheap. I don't I don't buy the expensive stuff. I buy the cheap stuff which you know anybody can afford. That's lovely look. It's got sparkly at the top and it's got sparkly on the bottom. And in actual fact you could cut the bottom one off and just use the small one and still have the bottom to use somewhere else. You know, that's endless what you do with that one. Um, I don't know if I've got any more in here. I thought I had some more, but hold on a moment. Yes, I knew I had some more. Here we go. 
these came this week. These came on Tuesday. Look at that one. Beautiful, isn't it? You can leave it like that or cut it up, have lots of little flowers and the bigger flowers. Love it. Love, love, love it. And this one is that. You can see I wanted dangles. I didn't have any dangle. I had lots of lace and things, but I didn't have any with the dangles. And I wanted some with dangles. So I've got enough there now to last me quite a while, which I'm pleased. Um, off, I sent off eBay some weeks ago and they had um, collars crochet collars and that's one of them and they were selling them in packs of 10 and I went in there and there was one auction that finished in two hours starting at one cent <laughs> and I thought I can't bid at a cent so I actually put a starting bid of ten dollars and I actually won the auction is another one and I won the auction of all ten and you're thinking oh, that's a good buy a dollar each but when they charge me the postage another one I got them for the one cent I got the first they put it as a first bid they must have put it as a I don't know that's another one. It had a lot more on it, but I've already cut it down. So I got them for one cent plus the postage. I was amazed. And they were beautiful colours, but I bought them to cut up. That's had something cut out the middle and off the bottom. Still a lot more to go. Again, there's some missing off that one. But, hush up, Pippa. And another one that's, as you can see, half of it's gone. Pippa! Come on here. That's a good girl. That's it. Don't make me have to shout. <laughs> right, so that was my lace from AliExpress. Just go here. Next, Pippa. There's somebody in the hall, in the drive, on the drive, and she thinks so for here. Pippa, come here. Right, the, Pippa. Right, this is a set of alphabet, wooden alphabets. I think they were about two dollars from AliExpress. And they're just a nice size that you could put them on a card or you can put them on mixed media. Um, next are my die cuts. This first one is, as you can see, a sewing machine. And I've seen a lady on YouTube, she's always putting up her AliExpress hauls that she gets. And she actually cuts them and makes them up. And I saw her with this one and she cut the whole thing in silver. And then she cut the machine in black. And, and then she put some cotton running over it. And she also made it look like it had got some material under the foot. She did a beautiful job, and I wished I could remember her name, because I should be giving her the credit. But I, I can't remember her name at the moment. If I can find it, I'll put it at the bottom of the video. But that's what she did with that, and it looked lovely. This one I like. And it looks like lupins. And they will look lovely, all cut in blue and green. I'm looking forward to using that one. That one came today. 
another one I've been wanting for a long time are the trees, the birch trees. I've got some lovely, as you've seen, I've got tree stamps and I thought, you know, put these, cut these and then put the stamps at the back in the background or something like that would give a different view to it all. I like that. And then there is this one. Nice, well, it's an oval doily, isn't it really? It's not a round one. So I thought that would look nice on the back of something or with the flower or something in the middle. So I've got that one. There is some more. In this bag. I'll just, I bought, ah, here's the others. Right, I knew there was more. That is a round doily. And that will look nice. You could build that up and even put, you know, a real doily or a, make a flower and flower arrangement on it. That will look quite, quite pretty on a card. This other one is actually, I think it's a flamingo, but you could say it's a stork. I think he's quite cute. I can't wait to do him in pink. And do his black feet and yellow beak. I don't know what colour the beaks are. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> because I don't know. But he'll look nice. Put him back in his pocket. There are other dies I've got. But I've already filed them away. I should have left them out. And I'm going to... I've got... <laughs> that one's a pretty one. It's a wall lamp. But it's got the angel in the middle look. And that would look nice with yellow card behind it and some um, acetate on it. That would look lovely. So, that's that one. And then this one is a set of flower dies. Again, I've seen these from another lady who get use them on YouTube and she shows you how to use them to the best advantage. See there's four. There's a small one and the next one and the next bigger one and then the large. Again I have to look for that lady to put her name underneath because it's through watching her seeing how she uses them properly that give them into make them into a beautiful well it can do two style of flowers I think it was with it so I got that one so that is the dies that I've got and haven't filed away there are more but I filed them away all oh I think the dearest one would be the trees and that but still it hasn't gone over the it would be about I don't know if I paid two dollars eighty for that or something like that in New Zealand but you know I mean compared to where you see them everywhere else they are so cheap oh, I've bought a couple of new containers because I'll need some with all this they were on special, 50% off, so I've got those for $2.60 each. And the others I've dropped on the floor. I got some of these brown paper bags. Now, which one am I? The $2 shop, which is in America, is the dollar shop isn't it you would call it we have the two dollar shop when I pulled up there the other day they had a sale 50% off not bad <laughs> not a bad sale so I bought some of these bags 
I thought they'll be good for journaling. They're not really big ones, but they'll still do nicely to do some journaling in. Um, they only had one of these, or else I'd have bought more, because they are the sealable packets that I like to put my cards in when I've made them. So I've got those at half price. And what else was there? Oh, I know. That was the other sh shop. This was the other. The flowers. And I've actually got two bunches of those. Half price. And I saw this and I thought, well, that would do on the table. It's a little mini clear up dish, a dish with a brush. And I thought that's useful to keep on the table, brush up all those loose bits that we get. So that was that shop at the, with the sale. Then I went to this dollar shop because this didn't have the sale, but they did have what I actually went into town for when it was the last shop I found them in, which was glue sticks, because I'd run out of glue sticks. I was down to one. But I saw those egg-shaped polystyrene. I've got a lot of polystyrene shapes, but I haven't got the egg ones. And I had been told that they are difficult to find, so I grabbed those while they're there. Um, two packets of cord. I need that because I'm doing a journal with Mandy A and I've got to put it together with a twine or a what's it so I thought that would be all right for that. While I was walking through too I saw this bag of shells. I've got lots of other shaped shells I bought a jar for the other week. But I didn't have any of this shape and this size. I thought they will look nice on mixed media and put a pearl in the middle of them or something. So I bought those. I got another packet of the brown envelopes, but bigger ones this time. That's the other size and that's that size. So they were the two dollars, but I got them for a dollar. And they were two fifty that size and there are mm, quite a few in here two four six eight about ten in here no twelve oh no ten piece that's it that's the one and then last of all I got my glue sticks they only had, this is the last three they had on the shelf. And uh, the man said he's getting some more in and they'll be in next week. Because I use a lot of hot glue. I not only use them on projects, but I also use them in my moulds. And make my moulds in hot glue. Works really well. So that is my stash for the last week. Um, which I'm quite pleased with. Now that I've shown you, I can go and put it away. Um, while I'm on, though, I'd like to remind you all um, of Pam's uh, ornament swap for her pink tree. The pink tree has arrived. It is beautiful. It's ended up three feet bigger than what she ordered. She ordered the six foot and they've sent a nine foot. So if any of you are interested in putting, sending Pam at one ornament, she would love to receive it. She would love for all her friends and fans to send her one and she want, she's calling this the friendship tree. If you look in Pam's videos, you will see some of the ones she's already received. Have a look at those videos. 
because they're really worth looking at. There's some beautiful things been arriving for her and I'm thrilled to bits. Pam hasn't been on much for the last week. She's been really sick, really sick. But thankfully, she's fine now, still gets tired, but is on the mend. So we're really pleased to see her up and going again. So I will post the link to Pam's um, YouTube at the bottom here. Please, if you can, pop her a, a nice ornament, one you make yourself. The theme is white, pink and lilac, purple. She wants to try, but it doesn't matter. Any colour will do, any style, any size, just whatever you would like to make. You don't have to, it's just if you would like to make one. And when I put give you Pam's link, you can also get her address from there too, to send them to if you make some. I've got three, I haven't sent them yet, but I've got three made. I did have four, but I've lost one, never mind. So if you could do that. I've got um, oh, about three cards in the kit form at the moment. I'm going, I'm trying to make up a few more in the kit form to bring out and do another video on my cards. I have been very remiss lately and I should be putting one, at least one a week. I'd like to try and do more. As I've said on the others, I'd like to try and go live. Heidi's gonna help me sort that out because I don't know what to do on that one but um, this isn't a very long video just want to show you well, I'll show you one thing that I've made this week and all credit for it to Pam Pam made one herself bigger than this and this is a Christmas tree out of the cut roses I cheated, I've got the die cut for those round roses, you know, and you twist them round. And it's stuck on a polystyrene. And then pearls in the centre. I painted it, spray painted it, make it easy. And stuck all the pearls on there. Again, bad idea from Pam. But she's done, oh, a lot bigger. The one Pam's done out up here and it's beautiful. And she cut all her roses by hand. And she's done some of her um, baubles for on the tree with them. And oh, they look beautiful, really look beautiful. But I thought while well, that was sat here because I'd been showing someone, I'd show it to you. So that was fun to make. So there you go, just make some roses, stick them on a coat. I've actually got another one in the other room. This was my last polystyrene phone, uh, cone and I made another cone out of cardstock, you know, the 12 by 12 and um, did a tree on that. So, so yes. So that's it. I've got a journal I'm on the way of making. Being busy, 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 enjoying all my craft work. And love it. Thank you everybody for signing on to my channel um daily there's people signing up and i really thrilled to bits and i thank you all very much for coming on the channel and, and looking and watching my videos and as i say i really would like to put more up and go live so just watch this space and hopefully you'll see more of me but when i'm working you don't have to look at the face i you just look down on the table so I'm going to say bye for now and thank you all for looking and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Love you all. Bye.